So somebody, some sick, sick individual has created the most insane and unhinged football manager database in history. And so obviously we, we played it. Okay, so here is this database in Steam. And I think a good place to start is to shout out the creator of this. Kazi is his name, the mentalist that is Kazi. He has created and titled it the worst FM database Ever. I will link this page on Steam in the description of today's video. And I'm going to go and see if I can find Kazi's Twitter profile to link him there as well. He has, as I say, titled it the worst FM database ever and then gone on to describe it. I've actually jumped into the save file for this and the way it's set up is just, it's pure evil. And he describes it as such. He says, this database was made with every ounce of evil I have in my body. And the general premise of the database is that as much madness happens as possible. For example, there are three tiers to this database. The top tier is the Premier League. And at the end of the season, every single club gets relegated into tier two. So, I mean, from the start there, you can see that some weird things are going to happen. I actually checked this in the game and yeah. And as you can see, even the team that wins the league in the Premier League gets relegated to tier two. And if you have a look at what tier two is, that is known as the 20 leagues of hell. And there are 20 different leagues here, horribly designed, all of which only have one promotion spot. We'll start with the top one, which is called the League of Pure Luck, where you get two points for a win, two for a draw, and two for a loss. Literally, it's just luck, whether you get promoted or not in that league, or whether you get relegated from that league. There are 20 of these, all designed to be as mental and as crazy as possible. For example, the League of Self-Deprecation, which you get six points for a loss, two points for a win, and two points for a draw. I quite like the League of Compromise where you get two for a win, two for a loss, and six for a draw, making draws the most optimal result in that league. It's going to be so weird. If you go all the way down, you've got the chopping block, for example. Every team except for one is relegated into the abyss. And as I mentioned, the abyss, all of these 20 leagues are tier two. There's also a tier three, which is known as the abyss. A huge division with 23 promotion spots. If you do manage to go up, the chopping block awaits. I assume you go straight into the chopping block here and then you go into these other leagues from here. Not quite sure how you move between the two, but that's kind of all the three all the three different tiers. I guess that's what we're going to find out in today's video, where we sim through a few seasons to just find out what happens. Can I just say as well, I've just realised that in all of these crazy weird leagues, he's also included the Skybet Championship, which is just the Skybet Championship. Brilliant. I was also thinking, who is this database for? Who is the target audience here? And then I saw that there's nearly 2,000 subscribers to this. People are playing this. Not only are people playing this, by the way, they're also in the comments down below here giving suggestions, giving feedback. I would suggest it to be changed slightly. But, but, wh wh who are these people? And then, and then I remembered that uh, I'm one of these people. So let's get into it. Before we do get into it, a really quick thank you. Thank you so much for 60,000 subscribers. Thank you for a huge milestone that we've hit there on the on the channel. I do really appreciate it. If you are enjoying your time here and you've watched some other videos, maybe you're enjoying today's video and you've not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. We can hit the next target. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? And also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed today's one. And comments wise, what I'd like you to do is as we go through this, I'm not going to be able to mention everything that happens and you see on the screen. If you notice something that is just truly funny, please pop it down in a comment down below so that we can get, hopefully pick up on all the madness that occurs in today's video because I'm expecting madness. And let's, uh, let's let the madness begin. Okay, so as we jump into the save file or into the database, we have a save going on here where this is the very beginning. It's the 10th of July, 2023, and I've started in the Premier League. Can I actually look at the whole... Can I look at England as a whole? Because it is set up in England. Anyway, I went to the Premier League and I looked at rules and I saw that actually, yes, everybody does get relegated to Tier 2. Yeah, all go to Tier 2 from here. Relegation, bottom 20 teams are relegated to Tier 2. And then if you scroll down to Tier 2, this is what Tier 2 looks like. You have the different leagues. You have the League of Compromise, which in the rules you have... It's so you get two points for a win, six for a draw, six for defeat. And if you scroll all the way through League of Conflicting Interest, League of Development, Re League of Meaningless, where I think, I don't know what the exact rule was for the League of Meaningless, but maybe you just, I, who knows? Who knows? Do you get, they all go, right, they all go into the pre promotion playoff. That's why it's meaningless. I've, I've noticed that now. This all the way down through the League of Two. How does this work? Is there just two teams in here? Why, why? There's literally two teams in here. I just, who, where did he get this from in his brain? It honestly baffles me. You got the chopping block, which is huge, I think. Yeah, 24 teams in there. 
most of them relegated to the abyss. And if we look at the abyss, this is the abyss. There is group A all the way through to group T of just random teams that are in, in the abyss trying their hardest to, to escape. What we're going to go and find out now is who does manage to escape? What happens to the teams? What happens to some of those Premier League teams? Because I want to see them in the abyss at some point. Let's go one season in and find out what happens in this ridiculous database. Okay, so it's the end of season number one, and I've just realized that it's going to be so difficult to get all of this into a video. So I don't know how I'm going to show you everything that is happening, but I will put the save files up on my Claytreon, the Patreon page, so that if you want to go and actually explore this yourself, then you can do and see what's happened in my simulation. I think the best way that we're going to do it is we're going to choose my team, which is Liverpool. We're going to follow what happens to them, and we can see the journey that they go on in the save so that we can kind of see what happens then. Maybe we'll just scroll, scroll through the different leagues as well, because from last season, this is the Premier League, and as you can see, we have got ourselves a Premier League table where everybody has been relegated, including Liverpool, who have won this league after winning 24 of their games again. 84 points. Luton still struggling, got themselves 12 points there. Everyone has now been re relegated. We've also had West Ham randomly chosen over Brentford after both teams finished on the same record and Everton randomly chosen uh, over Wolves after both teams finished on the same record. So we've already got madness going on that actually could happen in real life, which is just great stuff. If we then scroll down into tier two, we've got the different leagues to see how they went last year and teams like Stallybridge won the League of Compromise. What we're going to do is we're going to see what happens to Liverpool and we'll, we'll fall into some of these leagues and we'll see. Look at this, by the way, 144 points in the League of Compromise. This is where you get, in fact, what was, I'm going to have to go back to like almost the, the Bible of explaining this. The League of Compromise was where you get two points for a win, two points for a loss and six points for a draw. So they drew... 13 games, meaning that they got themselves 144 points. The team that came second, Stockton, got 144 points, but a negative 33 goal difference. I mean, what is going on there? Let's have a look at the League of Conflicting Interests, where last season somebody finished on 138 points. Fleetwood won the league. Let's. Where did they end up? So they won the League of Conflicting Interests and ended up in the Premier League. So they have gone up to Tier 1. So you can see that the promotion is working correctly. What's the League of Conflicting Interests? Okay, you get huge cash prizes every time you lose a game, but no rewards for winning. So they've won 46 games. You'd get nothing for winning. So these teams down here, Baldock Town, for example, lost 39 games. They should have huge money. Are they... Their finances are secure. They've got the £8.24 million as their estimated value. So... Even that's outrageous already. Can we see their fine? I don't know if you can see the history of their finances or anything on here. I don't think you can, but they're going to have like silly money now. I don't know how that's going to affect them. Maybe they'll make some ridiculous transfers in the future, but Fleet would have gone up and they might be struggling for money. No, they're not because they've got they're now worth 103 million because they're in the Premier League. So yeah, just craziness. Let's keep going through. We've got the League of Development, which is all these B teams in here, plus just one random team. Oh, no one can get promoted from this. That's a uh, that's a fun one. League of Meaningless, which who won that one? Bromley won that league, 123 points. The League of Meaningless, what was that one? Oh yeah, it's where everybody qualified for the. Uh, for the promotion spots at the end of it. So I don't know if these have been played yet, have they? They have, look. The promotion was won by Bromley. Congratulations, Bromley. You are now a Premier League team. They're only valued at 7.55 million. So, or maybe that's because... It, it, anyway, they're in the Premier League now and they've got like 7 million pounds. But it was... What team was it before that got promoted? They were valued at like 100 million pounds. The finances are going to be really interesting in this save, I think. There's the League of Meaningless. Let's go to the League of Pure Luck, which is just randomly assigned where how many teams... Look, it even says it here. Rotherham have been randomly chosen as the top team of the 24 teams on 92 points with the same record because you get the same amount of points for, for every result. They Did they have the better goal? They did have the better goal difference. So it says randomly, but maybe it was done... I mean, they did have the best goal difference as well. So I'm not sure. They also... Randomly assigned, but they did, I guess, yeah, I say randomly assigned, but they did win the most games, but those were also randomly assigned, weren't they? They're now a Premier League team and they've got themselves £69 million in the bank. This Premier League is going to be looking really, really weird, isn't it? Maybe for this first season, we should definitely just go through all of them. We had the League of Two. Last year, it was Reading and St. Albans, who it's just a league with two teams in it. Reading won nine of the 10 games they played against each other and they've been promoted now to the Premier League. 
We've got the li March Madness. I really like this league as an idea. There is literally just one knockout game that gets played in March. And if you win, you go up. And if you don't win, you don't go up. And there's some re really low teams in here as well. Exeter find themselves, though. They've gone. So hang on. Do you get promoted to the different group next year? I'm not sure how the promotions work in all of these. Coventry Sphinx won theirs. They, they're now in Group L. Were they in Group L last year? They were in Group C last year, so I don't know how you get promoted from this. But either way, we have the chopping block, which is a bit of a mad one. You have everyone relegated except for one team. Well done to Colchester. who got themselves promoted from there. They go to the Premier League. The rest of these guys go to the Abyss which you have now Hednesford Town in the Abyss. We had the League of Eleven, which let me remind myself what happens in the League of Eleven. No subs is the League of Eleven. Did we have lots of injuries last year? I wonder. Lincoln have won it, though, with 60 points. We had the League of Balance, which is a bit of a convoluted system where you get two points for a win, two points for a draw, but six points for a loss, and then it turns into a regular league at the end of it afterwards, which... And the, and the normal points then do apply. So you have to actually win it, even though you don't get the points for it. Well done to Wadson Park, who find themselves now a Premier League team. Wadson Park. This Premier League is going to look crazy. We'll look at it in a second. We have the League of Behaving Well, which is all about the disciplinary records. Portland United, well done, randomly chosen with... We had... Okay, everybody had the same. It's literally, you get the same amount of points, but it is your... Lack of yellow cards and red cards that gets you promoted. It's just mental. You have the League of Children. I think that I assume that's to do with how old your players can be. The League of Children is... Yeah, strict squad rules only allowing under 18 players. Even if you do win, you're coming right back. Yep. You have the League of Demanding Schedules. I assume there's just a lot of games in here. 69, 69 games in a season. Well done to Oxford, who have won 58 of their 69 games in a season and gone up on goal difference, which... <laughs> Just well done, your Premier League Oxford. 300. Oh, I guess because they play so many games, they get so much cash coming in because of their games being played. They've got 370 million pounds in the bank now. Well done to them. Shrewsbury, I suppose, have a lot of money too. Not as much, though. They are not. This Premier League must be quite heavily uh, invested in, I'm going to assume. You have the League of Many, which is just an enormous league table or few two league tables split into two. Yeah, which has been won by Burton and by Gillingham. Those are 50, 50 teams in each, and then it's two brackets, so 100 games. I assume they play each other in a playoff at the end as well. You have the League of Primetime Television. Now, this is fun because this is all about finances as well. Wrexham have won this league and got themselves now 1.71 billion. Just... This is this is so much fun. I could actually talk about this for hours. This might be a really long video, and apologies if uh, if that's annoying. But I, I hopefully you're enjoying it because there's so much to look at. There's so much you could actually break down. Wrexham are now Premier League with nearly two billion pounds in the bank. Surely they're going to be favourites to go and win that. I'm, I mean, we haven't even looked at things like the transfers that teams are doing and where some of the Premier League teams have ended up. I just want to go through these twenty first. You have the League of Self Deprecation, where you get more points for a loss. And this team lost 36 games and got 236 points. Whiteleaf are now in the Premier League and they've got no money. 300, well, they've got 332k, but compare that to Wrexham and that's quite a stark difference, isn't it? We have the, I looked at that one before, we have the League of the Chosen, which is, I, I don't know what's this one, let me check it. Which is you get two points for every result and eight groups of 10 and one from each is chose, chosen randomly to compete in a playoff league. So it's just literally random who goes up in that. You go to a playoff and then we have the literal championship, which is just literally the championship. Brilliant inclusion, by the way. The Sunday league, which is you can only offer the amateur contracts in this league. So we have Bristol Rovers and these guys, I mean, are they just, they might have changed this now because they've gone up to the Premier League. But actually, let's check somebody who stayed in this league. Chatham, Chatham, yeah, um, in fact, is there a big team in here that we could check? So, for example, Notts County are going to have to have got rid of a lot of their players because they can only offer, like, part-time contracts to these players, look, which, uh, it's just, I mean, where do you think of these things? And then we have the World Cup, which is 32 teams, uh, it, it's, it's a season which is just played like the World Cup, so you have your groups and then you have the winner at the end of it. Who won the World Cup? <laughs> Who won the World Cup? It was... Well done to Stockport. You are now Premier League. Welcome to the Premier League, which looks like this. In fact, have I played? Is that all of the leagues now after the World Cup? Yeah, we're down to the abyss after that. The Premier League for the second season now looks like this. Bristol Rovers, Bromley, Burton, Colchester, Fleetwood, Hashtag, Leeds, Lincoln, MK Dons, Oxford, Peterborough, Portland, United, Portsmouth, Reading, Rotherham, Stallybridge, Stockport, Whiteleaf, Wadson Park, 
and Wrexham. I don't think I can see their salary per annum, but maybe at the end of this season, we should have a look at how much these are all like. If I go through Wadson Park, have got 2 million and then you've got Wrexham with nearly 2 billion. And then you have, who was the team that had like 300k? There was one of these teams that in this league that have no money whatsoever and they're going to be competing against Wrexham. We'll see how this goes. What I wanted to see, and we'll kind of follow to see just like the path of like a Premier League team as well as looking at who ends up at the very top. Liverpool find themselves in the literal championship. So you've got in here Liverpool. You've got some... Burtley have ended up in there as well. Manchester United B team is in there. They're not supposed to be able to get promoted, but they seem to have done. So that's an interesting one. Maybe I'm going to be the one who's giving feedback on things that don't work in the database, as if any of it works in the database. Let's go through... In fact, let's have a look at this team. Who have they managed to hold on to? They've actually got all of their players still, I think. Van Dijk's still there, look. He's got... Okay, they're all unhappy. They're, they want to leave due to the club, club getting relegated. They're all unhappy and want to leave. They've signed Juan Foyth. It's... Craziness is happening. Mohamed Salah is there. He's wanted by Saudi teams and Real Madrid. He's very, very much not wanting to be involved in this, in this project anymore. And I kind of understand it, to be honest. Let's go through another season and see what happens then. Honestly, exhausting. Let's go through to another one. Okay, end of season two. And despite having nearly £2 billion, pounds, Wrexham have finished seventh and been relegated from the Premier League because of just, of course, they have. There's also three different teams that had the exact same record that you've had to just randomly choose. The leagues just had to randomly choose somebody to finish above them. Like, this seems to happen loads in this database, doesn't it? Wrexham, though, now relegated, have lost all of their money. They're down to £255 million. Pounds. They've got Graham Potter as their manager, though. I wanted to check first thing. Who did they sign? Did they sign anyone? Apparently, they signed... They signed nobody. I mean, who are their players? Oh, that's... what. Oh, okay. They did sign people, look. I just can't see their, their transfer history. They signed, like, Mana Solomon. They've still got Paul Mullin playing up front for them, which is quite fun, isn't it? They've got Han Noah Masengo. I'm sure they signed people. I wonder now if they've had to get rid of people because they're going to go down to... They're still in the Premier League here, but, this yeah, this hasn't been... Has this ticked over? Are they going to stay in the Premier League? I mean... I'm not quite sure. We need to see what they're, where they're going to be next season, but they've now been relegated, so we'll find out what happens to them once we go another season in. I just want to go down the other leagues and just see what happened, who managed to get promoted from them. League of Compromise, Harborough have gone up to the Premier League, which is wild. Let's just scroll through quickly. Ulfreton promoted from the League of Conflicting Interests, the League of Development. Man City B have won it. I wonder if they can actually be promoted. Does this mean that Chester get promoted? Because... They are not a B team. There's a couple of B, non-B teams in here. And I don't think the B teams can get promoted. If we find Man City B in the Prem, we know what's happened there though, won't we? The League of Meaningless, we have Arsenal B winning it, which does that mean Boreham would go up? Because again, I sp actually, Arsenal B might be able to be promoted from this. We will see. League of Pure Luck, well done to Wantage. They've been randomly chosen to win that league. They will be a Premier League team. The League of Two, well done to Aldershot. March Madness, Southampton, GG's. Chelsea have won the chopping block. Uh, this has a lot of Premier League teams in this one, look. Chelsea have won it. Man City now then, after being relegated to the chopping block and then not going up from the chopping block, are going to be in the abyss next season. That is going to be wild. Let's, I mean, should we just see straight away? Where is Erling Haaland? Like, some of these players must have straight away moved. He's gone to PSG. I'm not surprised. I actually wonder how many did PSG go and pick up in their team? Uh, Bernardo Silva's there. Hey, not as many as I maybe would have expected. I'm sure there must be more down in here. There's Haaland. Any more like Premier League players ended up here? Real Madrid. Virgil van Dijk's there, look. Real Madrid must have picked up one or two. Kieran Tierney is also uh, ended up at PSG. Real Madrid, I imagine. They were looking at Mo Salah, weren't they? Have they managed to bring him to Madrid? Uh, I don't see him straight away. I can see Julian Alvarez leading the line for them. Is Mo Salah a Real Madrid player? No, I don't think he is, actually. That's an interesting one. Not many Premier League players in here either. Ruben Dias is one of them. Alvarez is one of them. Where did Mo Salah end up then? He went to... Okay, he went to Saudi. Fair play. He's ended up going to, uh, to, to Saudi eventually. He's at Al Ittihad. I wonder, actually, maybe the Saudi teams have bought most of them. Kevin De Bruyne is there. It's not actually a league that's loaded in, I don't think. So there's a few of them, look. N'Golo Kanta was already there. Uh, if I scroll... Okay, I can't actually scroll through. I'm sure that in this Saudi league, there's going to be a lot of our Premier League players there. Let's go back to our leagues and see what happens with them, though. After the chopping block, we had... Oh, by the way, in the chopping block, you've also now going to have Manchester United, Newcastle, Brentford, Brighton, Forest, 
etc all now playing in the abyss tier three of this database league of 11 well done to wolves burke Bur buckhurst hill have come up from the league of balance they are going to be a premier league team next season i believe so anyway we'll check it brightling c in the league of behaving well well done to them for being good boys harrogate have gone up from the league of children shrewsbury up from the league of demanded schedules after their 69 games so they have loads of money now after no not that much actually maybe that's not been updated though because remember i think for some reason the tick over has not happened in this season i don't think we've got the league of many which has been won by gillingham spurs have won the league of primetime television now this means so they get relegated to here they must have loads of money now 1.1 billion and again that might not have been updated yet but in their massive with all that money that's come in and just still there by the way they're going to go back to the premier league maybe spurs could do all right in this because with some of the other teams in there they might go and win that premier league mightn't they league of self deprecation well done to fc romania worcester i've come second get in worcester go on the lads love that uh they've just missed out though so they'll probably probably be relegated to the abyss now knowing the way that this works well done to the league of the chosen well done to bolton for literally being chosen to win that league and then the championship liverpool did win it and then we, as we're following them, they're back to the Premier League now. What I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go a couple of seasons now to see what's happened. Maybe, do you know what? I'm going to go to the end of five seasons. Otherwise, we could spend hours on this database. Let's go to the end of season number five and find out just what happens in general with this simulation. It, this is so much fun. I kind of want to actually, like, imagine playing this on stream, just how wild that would be. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of season number five. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. See you in a minute. Okay, so at the end of season number five, at the end of our simulation, the team that has finished at the top of the pile is Chelsea. Chelsea have won the Premier League. Somehow, they've managed to rise to the top of this against such powerhouses as Harborough and Alfreton and Bur Buckhurst Hill, who I say their name wrong every single time. Chelsea have won the league. They are champions. They've got £559 million in the bank, but are also in debt and now find themselves somehow in the chopping block. I mean, yeah, because everyone gets relegated, don't they? Outrageous that the way that this league has worked. Liverpool have finished third, the team that we're tracking. They've now gone into the chopping block too. They've got lots of money. This team, Oliver Glasner is the manager. This team is still quite strong in terms of they've held on to a, a few of their players here. Like Darwin Nunez is there. Alexis McAllister, Canate, Mukiele. They haven't got a goal. Oh, Alisson is still there, look, as the goalkeeper. So I'm surprised at how many players did stick around and didn't leave the clubs maybe because there was nowhere to go in england maybe and they didn't buy them do they actually i mean can we see their transfer history i don't think we can they've sold a couple here they've sold diaz to leipzig did they sign anyone yeah they signed a few like Bub uh, binguru kamara on a free i thought that's bubakar kamara it's not lakonga from uh inter milan former arsenal player there rakov from real madrid they signed they are signing some ruben neves came in on a free from uh saudi as well anyway Let's have a look at the other leagues and find out where some of these other teams finished. Notably, not in the Premier League then, at the end of season number five, Manchester City. You've got Arsenal. Their B team's in the top division, but their main team isn't. Manchester United. Should we go through and find out where some of the big teams ended up and then also see who's managed to rise? To, like the fact that, in fact, if we go to this season, the next season, Chelsea won't be in there. This is your Premier League season going into season number five. Wildstone. The Wildstone Raider is loving this. You've got Winsford, York. You've got Dartford. Arsenal in there. Surely favourites for this. In fact, can we see who the season preview says is favourite? I assume it's Arsenal. 11 to 8 favourites above West Ham and then Cambridge in at number three. Let's have a look at where those other teams ended up then at the end of season number five with Chelsea winning this. These guys now being relegated again and Chelsea being relegated again. Tier two or the League of Compromise last season finished like this. Dartford won it. And I I mean, that's just Dartford up to the Premier League there. Conflicting interests last season. We had Hornchurch winning that one. They will be Premier League next season. Well in Garden City. I mean, some of the names like it's <laughs> some of these really small clubs have managed to rise all the way to the top. Hornchurch are going to be Premier League. Aston Villa B are in that one there. So Burton got... Why did... Okay, Wolves B cannot gain promotion to have been relegated. That seems a bit harsh. Why are they relegated in fifth in the League of Development here? I don't know is the answer. Burton have won it. You got Worldstone winning this when we saw them in the Premier League, didn't we? Have I spotted, have we seen or gone past any teams that have got themselves relegated down into these from here? I'm like trying to keep an eye out for teams like... Manchester City, for example. The League of Pure Luck, Winsford have gone up. There's Man City B team. Uh, they're going to be in that one next year in the League of Two. March Madness. 
again, I don't know where... I guess they're probably in the abyss. To be, oh, yeah, because here's the chopping block from last year. And Arsenal managed to win it and avoid the chopping block. These teams will relegate, but they're the B teams. So I think I think most of the big teams have managed to fall all the way down to the chopping... To the, to the abyss, I should say. We, I, I want to go and check in with a few of those. The Manchester Cities, we know they lost Haaland. I wonder how many of their players have now left that they've not only been relegated once, but... Twice. League of 11, York won that one last year. This season, Leeds were there. Do Leeds, I feel like they found themselves. Okay, they've got themselves into the League of Balance there, look. Let's have a look at the League of Behaving Well, Coles Hill. Any big teams in this one? No. Yeah, they must all be in the Abyss. We, I assume that's really difficult to get out of. It's quite literally called the Abyss, isn't it? MK Dons in the League of Children. League of Demanding Schedules. Swindon have got themselves all of these games played. Probably got a big old budget now, £56 million. Going into the Premier League. Uh, next up, the League of Many. This huge league here. Won by Farnborough. And also won by Walsall. Do they go into a playoff? I didn't actually check that last time. They do go into a playoff. P Farnborough have won the playoff. Look, fair enough to them. Uh, league of Primetime Television. This is the big budget one. Cambridge won it. They've got £353 million in the Premier League. If we then keep going. I want to see this abyss, I believe. Fairham there. Worcester didn't get promoted. Still, keep going, lads. Keep going. League of the Chosen. Uh, did this one have a playoff? Who won the playoff? Salford won the playoff in that one. Literal Championship. Just love how... I still love how that's involved. West Ham won that one. Any Premier League teams in here? Uh, not so much. No. Mostly Championship teams. Sunday League. Crew won that. And the World Cup was won by... Go back to last season. The World Cup was won by... Doncaster. Great sentence, that, isn't it? The Abyss, then. The Abyss. This is where we should be finding some of our Premier League teams. Last season, in Group A, we had Stratford winning it. I mean, I'm just going to scroll down through these here. I'm not actually seeing many of them at all. Maybe they're in different places. We'll search them up if I don't spot them as we scroll through these. Manchester City, Manchester United, etc. Spurs, I think, were in the Premier League, were they? Um... Arsenal were, I think. Manchester United, let's start with them. Manchester United are in the chopping block for next season. They have, Yeah, okay. They, they're still in the chopping block. So Manchester United, Liverpool, Man City. I must have missed them because I looked at last season's one. They are, they are in the chopping block for next year. Let's have a look at the state of them. Man City have... Do you know what? That is still a strong team. Jeremy Doku, Jao Pedro, Smith Rose there. Like, Salis Abdul Samed, is he any good? He's come from Lons. So yeah, maybe he's quite good. Evan and Dicker, Rico Lewis. Again, where's Edison's on international duty? It's still a pretty strong team, isn't it? Eddie Nketiah has ended up there. Javi Grazia is their manager. Manchester United, any big movers here? Sorry, who was that? Knutson is their manager. Okay. Really small squad. They've really trimmed their squad down. Cole Palmer's there. Joey Dubs, love him. Uh, Yasser Larucci used to play for Liverpool. As a left back, I say he used to play for. He played no games, but he was at Liverpool for a little bit, I remember. Weird, small team for Manchester United. Let's have a look at that. I think, did we look at the Liverpool team before? Go back to the chopping block here. Uh, I think we did, but let's check in again. They've got Alisson still there, look. Ben Doak's playing, McAllister still there. Yeah, we looked because they had Sambi Lakonga, weirdly, didn't they? Any other teams? Everton are down here. Newcastle, did they, how much money have they got? Still got decent money, £250 million. Van der Gag is the manager. Rooney Barge is there. Great signing. Jacob Ramsey, love him. Joel Linton's still there. Livramento. Matthew Cox is their goalkeeper. I'm not sure how good he is. Um, I, not good is actually the answer. Sorry to Matthew Cox if you're watching. Alexander Isak is still there. Bruno's still there. Okay. I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. An outrageous database. I could honestly just explore it and look through it and chat to you guys about it for hours on end. And maybe one day we will. Thank you so much for watching today, though. I'm going to put these save files with the simulations onto the Claytron. If you want to go and check it out, if you're already a Claytron member, feel free to go and download those. If you want to go and support on the Claytron, feel free to do so as well. I would really, really appreciate it. I'll put the link to the, the database in the description so that you can go and download this yourself. Big shout out to Cassie who made this. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.